But first, residents trapped by a shifting hillside in Monroe say they're starting to face a crisis. It doesn't look like things are going to get better anytime soon. And hello again, I'm Steve Rabel. I'm Monique Minglobin. And Cairo 7 North Sound reporter Ryan Sims is live from Monroe. And Ryan, it takes a lot of effort to even walk into that housing community. It is a total workout. Let me show you. Uh, not only is there mud covering uh, this whole entrance over here, along with debris, but as you see, it goes uphill. And when they get to the very top, that is actually just half of it, but you get up to the very top, you can see a road that is totally unsupported and really unsafe. Homeowners at Skyview Estates say they might as well be living on a deserted island because the isolation they're facing is just as bad. No utilities can come up, uh, you know, if, if a house should, you know, catch fire, we're on our own with that. Our hopes and dreams and plans kind of flash before our eyes. It's a scary thing. Last week's torrential rain literally swept away people's sense of security. To get to the outside world for things like groceries, schools, whatever, the choice is either to hop on an ATV, which not everyone has, or power walk a long, muddy, windy path. I just envisioned myself doing the uh, Ironman competition. But when you have to go down for necessity, it's, it's, and especially when it's raining, you know, going up and down, it's, it's extremely steep. It's not really safe to walk on, and so access is the biggest concern. Getting back access is the biggest hurdle here. Since this was a private road, folks here are responsible for the repairs, at least a million dollars worth of repairs. Facing a possible humanitarian crisis, some people here are wanting Governor Inslee to take action. I'm sure that Washington will assist us because, you know, we're Washington people and we look out for ourselves. Beyond this muddy mess, there are dashed dreams for John Howard and his family. They planned on moving here this month. Dream home. It had everything that we, we wanted. It had had the extra space for our family to grow. That hope, along with so many others here, are now on hold as a community is literally cut off. So talking about a sense of community, though, it definitely is neighbor helping neighbor. Uh, for example, you can see all this debris, and there is a lot of it. This is not easy to move. Look at how thick this tree is right here. Uh, all the neighbors up in the community, Skyline Estates, they came down here and moved all this to the side of the road themselves. So they're definitely getting some things done. They just uh, need some help with getting the road up there. Uh, repaired. We're live in Monroe tonight. Ryan Sims, Cairo 7 News.